Holy shit, gang. Ableton now has the best 808 glide features on the market today. Let's take a look at these right now. All right, guys, so if you've been following me for any time now, you probably heard me talk about the new 808 glide features that Ableton 11 is about to have. I've been raving about it and saying how amazing it was going to be. And now since Ableton 11 is finally out, we can take advantage of all that sauce. So let's jump in and start looking at this. So I already got a little 808 note played out here. And as a little bonus tip, we now have scales. So we don't have to use those scale midis in Ableton when you have Ableton 11. So if you have Ableton 11, this is how you can get these scales to show up in any of your midi notes. You literally go right here, click on the scale, make sure that's highlighted and then you can pick what note it's in and which scale it's in and yes all of them are there so you also have the ability to press this scale here and it'll only show the notes that are in the scale otherwise you can fold it and it'll limit it to the notes that you have played out already but i like to have free range all the time i don't want to be limited so i'm going to keep it like this this is good enough for me i'm happy all right, so let's get into these 808 glides. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on this third pane right here. called It's called uh, the note expressions. And what you're gonna do to get this to pop up is you're gonna click on the note and it's gonna highlight it there for you. And then you have this little line right here that you can draw out and make your glides with. Yes, it's literally a line and it's super easy to do. So we can go ahead and drag it up if we wanted to do something like this. And the really, really cool part about this is depending on where you drag it is actually what note it would glide to. So if we want to go up to an F4, for example, we would just send this, let's back this out a little bit. We'd put this all the way up to an F4. And since it starts in the middle of the note, we're gonna end in the middle of this note right here. And as you can see, it's 12 semitones. So it actually follows the note. So it's super easy to draw in and get those crazy glides without even having to think about it. This is a game, game changer. And also a really cool thing is you can still use the, you can still use the option if you're on Mac or Alt and go ahead and bend in the curve and still do crazy glides like that. This is gonna completely change the game for 808 glides and I know people are gonna come up with some crazy new techniques to get crazy sounds with. It's only a matter of time. So we can start going through here and playing with some things now and kind of start playing with our 808 glide glides. But um, another thing I wanna mention is you could even do like a wobbly effect if you wanted to. So let's say you wanted to wobble up and down. You could do something like this. And now you've just introduced some crazy little wobble effect into your 808 which is pretty cool and gives it a whole new flair. Let's let's see what this would even sound like. But first, let me uh, solo this 808. That sounds pretty freaking crazy, and that was me just drawing in something at random. So we could probably put these a little bit closer together. We could get some really crazy wobble effects with our 808 just by playing with this. And it wasn't ever easy to do this before, so now the fact that we can do this in a matter of seconds is freaking amazing. And just think of all the crazy things that are left to be discovered. Ooh, that sounds crazy. Let's uh, play with some more. Maybe we want this one to go downward towards the end of it here. We'll place this in the middle of our note and we'll take this one and, oh, let's go back here. We gotta place a marker right here. We'll place another marker right here. Maybe we go down Let's go down to the a B. So we'll go down negative 12 semitones back to this B right here. And we'll even do like a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve like that. Okay, so that's cool, but we could even pull this in some more. Maybe we could even pull it in all the way to the beginning. And what I also like that I'm seeing right now is that when you click on these notes to do these little edits, my CPU is going insane, obviously, but it actually highlights that note and it'll play just that note in sequence for you, which is really nice. You don't have to listen to the whole pattern over and over again. When you're working on a single note, it'll actually 
only play that note for you so you can really dial it in and get it perfect. Okay, so if you wanna delete your automation, it's really as simple as just clicking out here and then just like dragging it over to the areas you wanna delete and then pressing delete or backspace on your keyboard there and it'll actually delete everything that you just did. So it makes it super, super simple. Yeah, so you're really only limited to what you can do with your automation and what you can draw in by hand. So like you can literally go crazy with this and do anything you really want to. All right, guys, so that was a quick introduction on how you can start doing 808 glides in Ableton. Like I said, this is a game changer and this is definitely the best way out there right now that you can do 808 glides. It's really endless, like the opportunities are freaking endless. And I can't wait to see what kind of crazy techniques I come out with and what you guys come up with as well. So if you guys like this one, make sure to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading daily videos that you're not going to want to miss out on. And besides that, I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out.